Combine and Trouble. Written and read by Emily Kidding. For Alfred, Elsie and Pierce. In the far south of Cambridgeshire, there is a farm called Ompsted Hall. On that farm lives a very happy farmer called Farmer Brian. Farmer Brian lives with Nan and Corin and a small scatty dog called Dilly. <coughs> farmer Brian is a proper farmer who is always really busy and covered in oil. He has lots of tractors, machinery and tools. He has a collection of overalls to protect him from the mud. Today he is wearing his double sip ones. It was summertime on the farm and the warm sun had made all the crops turn a golden yellow. It was harvest time. Farmer Brian was going to be really busy, so he went outside to wake up his special blue tractor called Alfred. Wake up, Alfred, said Farmer Brian. You have a busy day ahead of you corn casting. Now go and get the big green trailer for me, please. Alfred hurried to start his engine and get into gear and went to the big barn to attach the trailer to his tow bar. Alfred loves corn carting. Next, Farmer Brian got his combine out of the barn and started his big, powerful engine. The combine roared into action. Come on, combine, said Farmer Brian. We have lots of work to do today. We need to harvest the big cornfield. Farmer Brian and his big green combine set off harvesting their field of wheat. They went up and down the field lots of times. Alfred watched from the side of the field, very excited. Suddenly, the big green combine's tank was full. The combine switched on its flashing orange beacon and Alfred hurried to collect the grain. The combine put its spout over Alfred's trailer and filled it full of lovely fresh wheat. Now Alfred's trailer was really heavy. Alfred hurried back to the farm to put corn in the grain store. Once it was there, he met Elsie the forklift. Hello, Elsie, shouted Alfred. Hello, Alfred, said Elsie. Look at your trailer full of lovely wheat. Alfred reversed the tractor and trailer into the barn and dumped all the grain. Nan and Corrin's chickens love all the fresh wheat and often come for a quick snack. Naughty chickens, said Nan and Corrin. We'd better pile up the wheat so they can't eat it all. <laughs> Elsie, with her big shovel at the front, had to push all the grain up to make a nice big pile. She drove back and forth and back and forth, pushing all the grain into a pile so they could fit as much as they could into the grain store. Suddenly, Alfred and Elsie spotted smoke at the end of the farm lane. What's that? said Elsie. Fire! shouted Alfred. Alfred and Elsie rushed to tell Farmer Brian, who was having a nice cup of tea with Nana Vanda. Farmer Brian dialed 999 and asked for a fire engine to come to the rescue. A fire engine arrived for the fireman, who jumped out of the fire to put the combine corn bin fire out. They unreeled the hoses and aimed it at the flames. Soon everything was under control and the fire was put out. But oh no, the fire engine had sprayed so much water that it got stuck in the mud. This was a job for Elsie the digger. Elsie put a rope on her tow bar and attached it to the front of the fire engine. She pulled the fire engine to safety. The firemen shouted thank you and were off on their way to the next emergency. After lunch, they had to tow the big green combine to the workshop to be fixed, but it was too big for Alfred and Elsie. So they had to get Pierce, the big giant noisy tractor with a supercharged engine to help. Pierce was happy to help and whizzed down the farm track to pull the combine back to the farm. The combine went into Farmer Brian's workshop to be steadily fixed over the coming months. It had been a very busy day on the farm for Alfred, Pierce and Elsie, who were all very tired. It was time for all of Farmer Brian's tractors to go to bed now. Good night, everybody, said Farmer Brian. <laughs> Good night, Alfred, Elsie and Pierce. The end. <laughs>